So here's the thing, right? Um, in, on in-person, we normally take our guests away from their working environment uh, into something more relaxed, uh, into something more casual. Now, what would you do if I'm, what would I do if I'm talking to a, a boss of a company that is all about relaxation and it's all about being comfortable and it's all about enjoying yourself. So how do I take him away from that environment which is already casual into something more casual? Well, we have drinks at a coffee place. That's how we do it. So, you know, I, uh, I'm very happy to have uh, Mr. Kenny Wong Hi. joining us today. Good morning. Uh, it's probably very difficult yeah, for me to um, ask you to step away from the great movies that you're showing in your screens and, and, and come out here. But thanks again for coming My out My pleasure. Here. The, no, tell me, to begin with, in your own words, how do you view your role as the head honcho of, well, if not one of the leading, the leading cinema mm -hmm. companies mm -hmm. in Malaysia? Well, first of all, it's, um, I don't stop to think about how it feels to be, uh, like you say, the head honcho of yeah. uh, one of the leading cinemas in Malaysia. Um, it's been a bit of a whirlwind. I've been around in uh, TGV cinemas for only about 15 months. Um, but I think the, the reason why I'm saying that I don't really think about it is because it's been, uh, it's been a very highly fast-paced 15 months. Uh, we were, you know, uh, I was entrusted to uh, take the company to, to greater heights and that included um, a fair bit of uh, expansion. And uh, for that, in the, in the last 12-15 months, it has been nothing but non-stop uh, action all the way. If you ask me what I think about it, um, the only thing I can think of is the word fun. Fun. I knew so, that was coming somewhere. <laughs> I, I, well, I was kind of hoping that that was going to crop up sometime. Yeah, whilst yeah. It's, been, it's, been, it's been tough as, and it's been uh, hectic, but it's been fun as well as we go along. Right, okay. Yep. So describe, you know, tell us a little bit about how a typical day in the life of Kenny Wong would be <laughs> if you have to come to work, to a cinema every day. Well, it's not all <laughs> fun and, and breezy like that. Um, my typical day will start, uh, you know, in the morning as, as you would, you know. Uh, just as you wake up in today's world, what do you do? You reach for your phone, right? Mm -hmm. And you'll be, you know, going through your emails and all that. Um, I'm also so quite active on social media. So what I do is, besides checking emails, I'll be checking on Twitter and Facebook as well. Not just my accounts, but also TGV Cinema's accounts. That gives me a bit of a flavor going into the day as to what's happening around, what are consumers saying about us, uh, how's our business doing, for example. Mm -hmm. And uh, I will already have a, a set plan for, for the rest of the day anyway, which consists of meeting my team, mm -hmm. as well as uh, you know going to the cinemas. We have uh, 16 cinemas in the whole country right now, mm -hmm. and I, I love being in cinemas, as, as you rightly pointed out. So most of the time, I'll be going to the shopping malls, scouting around the cinemas, listening to what customers have to say. So mm -hmm. that part of it, it's a nice job. Right. And is it only your cinemas that you, that you go to? That's a very good question. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, you know, we do, we do move around. The industry is a very small one. So even on, uh, you know, for leisure, I will move around as well. And uh, I want to say check out my competitor cinema. We are, we are a small industry and I would like to think that we, we are frenemies. We are friends and enemies as well. Uh -huh. um, occasionally as well, uh, we are invited to our competitor cinemas to watch some uh, some movie previews, mm -hmm. movies which are upcoming. Mm -hmm. we, are, we have our industry meetings, uh, you know, uh, in different cinemas as well. So yeah. we, we do go around and uh, look at other people's uh, cinemas as well. Right, I see. It's not like they will raise the alarm when, no. when they see your face. No, you know, no, walking they actually, we, we, we welcome each other. That's good. In fact, we learn from each other. The industry is a very small one. Mm -hmm. And we tend to help each other along as well on issues which are, you know, which are common across uh, all the cinema operators. So it, it, there is competition, but it's a healthy one. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So how do you view your competitors then? Um, uh, where do you see yourself as being ahead? Right. Uh, and you know, and sure. likewise the other way around as well. Well, in my opinion, the um, in Malaysia, the cinema operators are are still, you know, what I will call, <clears throat> we we are still not serving the general public enough. Uh, or rather, what I will say is that the number of cinemas in Malaysia are still not capable of serving the general movie-going public. Mm -hmm. So, the, together, the whole industry is locking hands, if you, if you want, right now, to actually uh, expand the entire uh, landscape of the industry and building more cinemas to cope with the uh, pent-up demand. Mm -hmm. So, I would say that if I look at ourselves uh, with, with our competitors, we are all basically now, you know, basically joining hands 
to, to, to build and to expand as, as rapidly as possible so that we bring more uh, you know, uh, Malaysians into the movie-going uh, fraternity, if you like. Mm -hmm. um, as you will know, you know the, the, the young people today, they are, you know, they, are, they are preoccupied with a lot of things. There are so many things to distract them. The internet is one thing, you know, uh, movies obviously, hanging around the normal mamak shops, yeah. uh, catching football games and all that. Um, we would like to think that the, uh, you know, going to cinema is actually a very healthy, wholesome habit. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you tell your, your parents, for example, that you're going to cinemas to watch a movie with your friends, most likely your parents say, okay, go ahead, yeah. not a problem. Because it's a controlled environment. Absolutely. Right. So I think we, we see ourselves as being part and parcel of an industry that's growing and we help each other to, to, uh, to, to grow the industry as well as look out for things that can help each other to, to be a bit more profitable as well. Mm -hmm. um, so our role, together with the rest of them, uh, you know, we, do not, we do not necessarily compete on a lot of things. As you know, uh, generally movies are generic. Yeah. So whatever movies that I get you know, and my competitors will, it's the same movie as well. Yeah. Um, if you ask me where are we ahead, I wouldn't say we are typically ahead in many ways, but sometimes we are ahead of others in certain things. Sooner or later, others will catch up yeah. and over time, we sort of neutralize each other. Mm -hmm. If there's anything at all, I think uh, the only thing I can say is that TGV Cinemas will always use innovation, if you like, and uh, being, being at the forefront of, of looking at what customers want. Mm -hmm. We like to think that uh, we are as customer-centric as they come as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but like I said, you know, whatever we put in place today, it can be replicated quite easily over time. Mm -hmm. So the only thing is, I think at the heart of it, we would like to be able to differentiate over time to be um, uh, a brand name which is well known to be customer centric. Right, yeah. I see. Well, we're going to talk about the innovation bit in, uh, you know, later on in the show. Uh, and I'll ask you the million dollar question of what's new and what's exciting. But, you know, very briefly, tell me how much do you understand your customers? Oh, that's a, that's a big one. Um, I would like to say that today we do not understand enough yet. Mm -hmm. um, customers are ever changing. And even there, the customers' habits will change over time as well. We do conduct a lot of uh, surveys, for example, but most of those surveys are, if you like, at one point in time. The only thing I can say is the, the use of social media, mm -hmm. Facebook and Twitter, for example, tells us at every second what customers think. What are customers looking for? Are there issues they're not happy about? So on the face of that, I would say that if customers want to talk to us and they reach us through social media, mm -hmm. uh, or email or phone calls, we will listen to our customers and we'll ask them questions which will help us understand the demands a bit better. Um, on, the, on the front of that, I would say that we do understand uh, customers who talk to us, but there remains a large majority who do not talk to us. You know, Malaysians generally are a bit reserved. Yeah. So for those who don't talk to us, we do not necessarily know what they think about yet. From what little we know, uh, I would say that we probably understand maybe about 30 to 40% of our customers. Is that enough? I would say no, mm -hmm. that could be better but it's better than perhaps uh, a year and uh, a bit ago. Right, I see. Okay, well, we have to go for a very short break right now, sure. but when we come back, uh, let's take a, a step back and look at your journey to where you are right now. Okay. So stay with us on In Person. Right. All right, we're back and we're still having a chat with Mr. Kenny Wong, the CEO of TGV Cinemas. Now, let's take a look, uh, take a step back and look at some of the things that you've done. Now, some people say, you know, a person is a one-trick pony, you do one thing and a one thing only. But you've actually been in the tobacco line yes. for yonks, for absolute <laughs> yonks. Yes. And then now today, you are heading an entertainment um, entity, a right. cinema company. Wow! <laughs> Tell us about the journey. Well, you know, like I said to you earlier before we start shooting, um, I kind of stumbled upon uh, some of the roles that I've, uh, I've been uh, embracing this past 20 over years that I've been working. Well, fresh from school, uh, you know, uh, from, from university, uh, and when I graduated, it was deep in the middle of recession anyway. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when, when I got a, a job in, in this tobacco company, and at a point in time, it was, it was God sent, to be honest with you, uh, in terms of its, its benefits, its package and all that. Um, so I spent about 20 years there, and uh, very good 20 years, uh, you know, I, I have, I have uh, thought back about those times with, uh, with fond memories. And that, uh, that, that role, uh, the roles I have, uh, you know, I have embraced in that company mm -hmm. has actually made me what I am today. And I think it has also been able to help me, uh, you know, cater for my family needs as well. Um, after that, I moved to a, to a startup uh, telco 
for just about a few years and that also gave me a wealth of information mm -hmm. from a well-established systematic and process-driven company to a startup company so it's like moving from you know one environment to totally 180 degrees to another one mm -hmm. um, when I joined TGV Cinemas, uh, you know, it, it took me a bit of uh, time getting used to, uh, to the idea that you know, the industry is totally different. But to tell you the truth, you know, the, the one thing that, that uh, is similar across all three industries that I've been in is the mere fact that they're all consumer-based, consumer-fronting industries. Okay. Um, I'm not sure whether I'll be able to move into an industry that is business to business. Right. I'm not sure. But to be honest with you, the one thing that has kept me on all this while is the fact that I, I love interacting with customers, I love interacting with consumers. Those days, it was face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember going from one coffee shop to another, one sundry shop to another, talking to the Tao Care, and you know, if you meet customers, you'll be talking to them as well. Yeah. Now, it's, it's social media. You can talk to customers via uh, the internet. Um, so, you know, like I said, uh, all this in this past 20 years, how I move from one industry to another, it happens mostly by chance when the opportunities arise. But the one thing that has kept me uh, interested and, and excited all this while is the fact that I can try to make something uh, a little bit better for our customers. Right. Now, the industries have changed, uh, but you seem to be adapting very well simply because of the uh, consumer uh, string there. Yeah? Um, but what are the key differences that you have found in your new role here as the CEO of uh, TGV Cinemas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, that's a, that's a good one as well. Well, I think uh, one of the major things that have changed over time in terms of consumers' demands is the fact that there are a lot, there are a lot more distractions today. Mm -hmm. Back then, when I was starting to uh, in my, my career, we had three TV channels, you know, that's all. And yep. those were, generally speaking, compared to today, you know, uh, you know it, it's really comparing you know, heaven and hell, if you like. Um, but you know, the fact of the matter was that it was so much easier at the point in time. Media was not as fragmented as, as it was yep. today. Um, generally Thanks to us. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and generally people, are, they are driven. They are driven to, to listen to things that advertisers want, want them to hear about. Um, number two, a lot of things are not real time. You read tomorrow's newspapers to find out the scores of today's football games. Yep. So the major difference that has happened is the fact that things are all real time today. and People are distracted and they are, they are exposed to many, many forms of media. You can get news and information from anywhere, just about any time. Mm -hmm. um, so with the changing consumer needs, I think lots of companies which are customer fronting has got to change with that as well. Mm -hmm. You can't afford you know, to wait too long to react to something. So for me, one of the key things uh, that's important today for us or you know, any other fast-moving or fast-paced consumer uh, industries is to be able to um, react fast to what's happening uh, if that's a problem for example you've got to be able to uh, reach out and, and and assure your customers that things are okay in a relatively short frame of time mm -hmm. when the customers tell you that they, they like something and if it's reasonable and it's commercially uh, viable mm -hmm. you have to make that change relatively fast because if you don't somebody else will do it first mm -hmm. and I think being first today is arguably mm -hmm. one of the strongest factors of marketing but what is Okay, fine. That's the company perspective right. and, and that's what the company needs to do. But okay. what's your own strategy? Right. You know, th this is about you okay. being the captain okay. and foreseeing where the icebergs are right. before you hit it. So what's your own strategy? Well, I think personally, as uh, if I step out from my, my body and look at myself now, I'd like to think that I'm a person who is uh, always hungry for information. Um, we were chatting... Uh, a bit earlier and I said that one of my favorite pastimes was walking in a shopping mall yeah. and I have nothing to do. <laughs> Why do I do that? I like picking up trends. I like looking at people and observing what they are wearing, mm -hmm. what they are eating, how they are talking for example. And I think this trait of mine has helped me to cope with the, with the change. Um, that hunger and that passion to learn and to, and, to, uh, and to apply new things. The fact that I've got two teenage daughters, uh, you know, Brenda is in UK studying law and Christine is, is 16 and studying in Bangkok. Um, they also help me to understand the young people uh, a lot better. My wife Samantha is teaching in Bangkok and she also surrounds herself with a lot of young people. I think this, uh, this habit of surrounding yourself with people who are a lot younger than you generally allows you to keep up with times. And I think if you ask me you know, how I, I keep in touch, that's, that's one of the greatest ways to do so. Well, the, the most natural question now that you've brought family up as well, um, one of the most natural questions that you know I will ask you is, you know, being the boss of a, a cinema company, 
Do you ever go through a phase where you think, oh my god, no more films, no more <laughs> cinema, I've had enough, I just need a book or to look at something that's inanimate or something like that? Well, fortunately, no. <laughs> uh, you know, when, when my family is back in, in Malaysia and it's just uh, last, last week or so, we will go on movie marathons. You oh, know, right. We will watch two or three movies uh, in a day. Uh -huh. Generally speaking, it is because we as a family, we enjoy movies as well. Um, I used to read a lot, a lot more than I, than I, than I should be now. Mm -hmm. uh, but because of my movie uh, going habits and because of my job now, to be honest with you, I tend to watch a lot more movies. Right. But I do not think I'll ever get tired of movies. I mean, the, the, the scripts are getting better, you know, the technology is getting better as well. So, you know, as of now, after, you know, I don't know, 20, 30 years of watching movies, I do not think I'm, I'm going to get well, tired. Well, all I can say is thank God for that for now because <laughs> if you are tired of watching movies, you will lose the passion. You lose the passion, the company goes down south. So, you know, it's no good. All right. So with us, we've got more questions about what is coming up on 2012. Uh, so stay uh, tuned to in person. All right, we're back. Uh, final segment already. So this is where we get to talk about the exciting stuff that's happening next. Now, uh, let's talk about potential to begin with. I mean, movies, cinema, Hollywood, Bollywood, Hong Kong, it's a huge industry. I, I think um, in, in the US, the, uh, the, the film industry has doubled over the last right. 15 years. Last year, over 10 billion in revenue. Right. That is almost our per capita GDP. <laughs> phenomenal. It's phenomenal. So it is undeniably a large, large industry. Whilst it may not be as big here in Malaysia sure. for very obvious reasons. Sure. But what do you think are the potentials right. that you can see here? Well, first off, in the context of Malaysia, like I've uh, alluded to just now, uh, generally speaking, you know, if you look at the population of Malaysia and the propensity to spend, we do not have enough cinemas. Mm -hmm. So first off, in 2012, TGV Cinemas is going to be rapidly expanding. We'll be building at least six cinemas. Uh, perhaps if, we, if things work out well, it could be as, as many as eight or even nine, yeah. just in one year. And to give you proper perspective, today in the whole of Malaysia, we only have 16 cinemas. Yeah. So we are going to have like 50% more uh, in just one year. In one year. Um, Building a cinema is one thing. Getting people, getting stuff ready and, and making sure that we have the necessarily back-end support is, is another thing. Mm -hmm. Now, together with our other competitors as well, 2012 will be the year where Malaysian cinemas expand exponentially. Right. Um, generally speaking, the, the total landscape will, will increase by about something like 30% uh, over the course of just 12 months. Mm -hmm. So what does that tell you? It tells you that the, the general uh, public uh, is demanding for more locations for cinemas. Yeah. And again, perspective-wise, we have about 28 million uh, population right now in Malaysia. We have only about, you know, less than 700 cinemas. Australia, for example, have less population than us, probably about 25 million, mm -hmm. and they have about 2,000 cinemas. Right, right. So right. You, you can imagine the, the kind of uh, uh, demand that's pent up. Mm -hmm. Now, so one is rapid expansion. I think that will take place not just uh, for us, but mm -hmm. for the industry as well. Two is technological advancements. Yep. A few years ago, Avatar, which, uh, which really started the, the whole concept of 3D, is taking the market by storm. Uh, we are proud to say now that TGV Cinemas have got the IMAX uh, technology, yep. uh, which we launched in Sunway uh, just recently. And that's another fantastic technology, which gives you a very uh, um, fantastic kind of immersion that you feel as if you're part of the, the movie instead of watching the movie. Besides being crystal clear and have fantastic audio as well, uh, this kind of advancements in technology actually make uh, people come back to the cinemas, if you like. I think it doesn't stop there as well. Uh, the, another new thing uh, which, which Hollywood is all abuzz about now is talking about uh, higher frame, frame rates, if you like. Yeah. Shooting uh, uh, movies with like, you know, uh, 48 frames per second or 60 frames per second. Mm -hmm. Now, all those things will make movie going totally different and you can never get it elsewhere, whether in the, in the home and, and things like that. Besides technological advancements, you're talking about the whole experience of the cinema. Comfort, for example. We are proud to say that we have launched the Beaniplex, which is really uh, bean bags, huge bean bags mm -hmm. that you sit on. Um, it's like watching a movie in the comfort of a home, but it's, it's a totally different experience with bigger screens. I dropped in earlier to check it out. Believe me, <laughs> it is the best way to watch thank a you, film. Thank you it for is that. the best way yeah. to watch a film. So like I said, you know, the technology is one thing, comfort is another thing. And I think last but not least is the whole array of uh, food and beverage. Again, you know, Malaysians uh, like to eat. We eat all the time. We have 24-hour eating places. 
We have just recently launched a new uh, premium popcorn called Popcorn Royale. Yeah. Uh, again, you know, I think it's out of this world. A bit sinful, so don't do it all the time. <laughs> but it, it's a very nice, uh, very premium uh, kind of a caramel feel to it. Uh, it. It makes you want to come back for more. So I think, in a nutshell, the whole industry is not just about movie going. It's about cinema, the movies, the te technological advancements. It's about the experience that you get there, the comfort levels, mm -hmm. and it's about food and beverage. Mm -hmm. So a combination of all this will be what 2012 will see and beyond. But uh, on a personal level, uh, how? So how do you decide? Um, I know it, it's probably a trend that sure. you follow. You know, if if something works, you know, elsewhere, you bring it here. Sometimes you innovate from 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 within. But how do you, as a boss? you know, fuel this innovation, fuel this, this desire for something new all the time. Where do you get it from? I, I think, you know, again, there's no magic formula for it. I, I would like to think that um, I am what I am and I set an example myself. Uh, first off, for example, if I want the, um, the whole company to listen to customers, to engage customers, mm -hmm. I for one must do the same thing. Um, if I believe that social media is the way to go, I for one must be well versed with it as well. So, you know, doing it yourself is probably the best thing that you can do. It's an example for, for others as well. And the other thing to do is, I think passion is something that you cannot disguise, you cannot force as well. You either have it or you don't have it. So, I, I tend to want to surround myself with people, with people like that or like-minded mm. people. So, if I'm recruiting, I'll be looking for people with similar traits, if you like, who's equally passionate and, and uh, you know, that old cliche of not working just for money yeah. uh, is actually literally quite true as well. You need to be able to see like, like one of my former bosses said, you need to be able to see the fire in people's eyes. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the rest of it is, is, a, is walking the talk, basically. And for yourself, for 2012, what would your personal goals be? <laughs> well, I, I think I want to keep myself uh, fit or, or fitter, if you like. Because generally, I love eating. So in order to be able to continue eating as much as I want, yeah, and you've I need got to your be able to be, popcorns coming uh, up as well. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I would like to also spend a bit more time with my family. You know, uh, the kids are growing up, so... Time is a bit uh, pressing, but you know, we, if you plan it well enough, we can have holidays together. Mm -hmm. And but last but not least, I would like my uh, my team members, uh, besides you know working, if you like, to actually feel much more happier and, and, and you know uh, have fun while they are working as well. Mm. So generally speaking, uh, you know, family, self, and the company. These are the three key priorities. Well, it, you've got your priorities right, and Thank I wish you. you the very best. best of Thank you for your time. For that. Uh, okay. And I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen in 2012. I mean, awesome. the IMAX is absolutely awesome and I'm sure a lot more is going to happen and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Well, okay, that's it from me. Uh, you've been watching In Person and I've been talking to the CEO of TGV Cinemas, uh, Mr. Kenny Wong, uh, and you've been uh, uh, filled in on what is going to be coming up next in 2012 and how a person who heads you know, an entertainment outlet uh, <laughs> views the coming year. So we'll see you again next week and uh, take care. Bye-bye.